What does venture look like in five years in your mind, in the early stage? Do we see like the even further productization of multi-stage fund money at seed? Do we see the Tigers and Co2s come there as well and do it also? Do the boutiques survive? Help me. I thought the crossover funds were coming to seed imminently if the market maintained the up moment that it was having. So I think if you didn't have the turn of the market in 22, you were going to see enormous amounts of capital pointed at seed, whether that was good, bad, or or right or wrong. We didn't get to see that play out. I think the multi-stage firms have, as I said, uh, been doing seed for a while, will continue to do it. Um, there will probably be less investors because I think what this has done is push out the tourists. And I think the tourists were dangerous and the tourists were not here for the long term. And that was capital that doesn't make sense for founders who are here for the long term to be working with. Who and are the, who are the tourists? Wh- whether the tourists were crossover funds that came in just because the numbers looked good and wanted to grab onto that. It's people that are are, you know, I go back to USV. USV is the opposite of a tourist. They are so focused and long-term in every single thing they do. They're consistent, they're loyal, they live by their commitments. And I have immense respect for the long-term nature of their business. And when I look at what we want to do at Box Group, we are who we are, we are who we say we are, and we're going to continue to be that. And that's the business we want to build. And that, to me, aligns with the timeline of starting and building a company. And so investors who are who are here, whether that's early stage funds that started and then you know funded things because they were going up and now are getting nervous and questioning things like, or it's crossover funds that showed up at the last minute. I think you pointed out Tiger and Co. Too, they're easy to criticize, but they've been investing in tech for a long time. They've changed their model, they changed their velocity, they've done things differently at points, but they they have been investing into private startups at, you know, a consistent basis for a long time. David, I, so, th- I, think, I, I think for their capital base and for their LPs, they will actually still perform to a averagely good level, given they have different expectations, which is great. That's what their investors expect. I, I'm not short on them. I think they'll be okay, actually. Yeah. The tourists, so to I, me are the, one, the tourists, to me, are the ones who came in because it was hot and they felt that venture was cool, correct. and they've got correct. no fucking idea how to do portfolio construction. They want to go to every drinks party with every VC in LA. They want to talk yeah, to every there's, other. There's VC. a bit more depth to that too. Of like they came in because it was hot, and they're not going to stick with it. And I think when you have investors who, you know, two years into your company's journey are no longer doing this business, I don't know. It's not the best group of people to have around the table. We are, uh, we are going to run. Uh, whether you like it or not, the same model uh, for a long time. And I think what that does is it aligns us with founders who are also going to build their business for a long time. We are consistent. We're not going to suddenly be a Series A lead next year. We're not going to scale the size of an entry point and where we focus our business because our view is if we hold true to who we are, we're actually maintaining that relationship with the founder for the extent of the journey. 